So here's the thing. Imagine there's a scale or a gig on Fiverr that is in so much demand. Imagine you are the one selling it. And imagine every day, every week, lots of buyers are coming to you and they are buying this from you. In this video, I'm going to show you three gigs that you can actually sell. These gigs are trending. A lot of people are buying it and I want you to tap into it because it's good to be making a lot of orders from Fiverr. And if you start making the money and you want to share with me, I'll just send you my links for you to dash something to me. So that is what I'll get from this video. But what I want you to do right now is for when I check my analytics, I get to know that a lot of people have started watching my videos, but you guys haven't subscribed to the channel. I want you to subscribe and share this video with a friend and please leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment, ask a question, say you love the video or anything like that. Now let's jump into it right now. Now the first gig I want you to look at is a gig around videos. Now, why am I saying videos? Now, in this day and time, videos are trending. Everyone watches videos every day. How many videos have you watched today? Think about it. How many short videos have you watched today? So there are different types of videos that you can sell on Fiverr. There are different types of videos that are doing well. There are different categories of videos too that you can actually sell. Now, even if you don't have the skill set to edit a video or to create a video, you can leverage expertise. That is the first step into selling this particular gig. Why am I saying you should jump into videos? Everyone is watching videos every, in every part of the world. You are part of it, I'm a part of it. Your mother, your father, your brothers and sisters, everyone is watching videos. That means that businesses are finding ways to tap into that so that they can get more customers. At the end of the day, it's about generating more revenue and growing their businesses. So you as a freelancer here on Fiverr, the only way you can tap into that is to sell that scale. And even if you don't have any expertise in creating videos and editing videos, you can do something like called the leverage expertise. There are thousands and millions of people who can do this work for you right here on Fiverr. Find them, get them to do the work for you and take your cut. Now, let's say you sell a video for $120 and you find someone charging $50 for it, right? You buy the $50. If it's 120 Fiverr will take you um, $20 and you, get, you go home with your uh, maybe $100. Let's say you go home with $100. You pay the $50 and you go home with your $50, right? Look at that, right? It's so easy for you to make money with videos without actually doing the work. And there are thousands of people who can do this work for you. Now, imagine I'm, at, I, I'm selling wedding video editing and I don't know how to edit videos, right? I just have to go and find someone who is selling the same gig but has a lower price. And I always advise my students, go look out for those who have just joined the platform, the new sellers. Some of them have great talents, but they don't have the exposure. And when you're hiring them for them to do your work for you, ensure that they share a lot of experience and put their portfolio with you. The ones that you like, get them to work and pay them on the platform, right? Pay them, use your account, get them to do the work and sell it higher. I normally say that if you're selling, if you get someone who is selling a service for $10, make sure you are going to sell it for $30. Fiverr takes your 10, you pay the 10 to the person doing the work and you also take your 10. The only work you do here, if you leverage someone's expertise, is to set up the gig and to promote the gig and to have a conversation with the buyer. The real work is done by someone. So that's the first step into selling videos. It's very, very easy. You can easily do that. Now, the second step into selling videos is to use AI tools. Now, AI is here. Why are you not leveraging it? Let me ask you that question. AI is here. Why are you actually not leveraging AI to sell a lot of gigs or to perform or execute your jobs? You can use AI tools to do a lot of work. Now, we have Opus Clip. Opus Clip is a, a video a video platform where you can upload a long video and it will cut it into shorts. Now, YouTube is now promoting podcasts. So a lot of people, influencers, course creators, consultants, business owners, and software founders are now creating what? Uh, podcasts on YouTube. And most of the time, they need short videos out of it to be able to uh, use it to promote the course and um, the podcast on other platforms. So they will send you the long video, you go and upload it in Opus Clip, do one or two editing, and it's done. We have Opus Clip, we have Descript. You can Google it, go to Google and search for um, video editing AI tools or automatic AI short creation tools. There are so many of AI tools out there that can actually help you create videos and edit video without you necessarily knowing how to create videos. So don't sit down in our time. There's videos everywhere, people are buying it, right? 
and if you go on to fiverr right now and open any video category you will see that the top 50 sellers all have orders in queue more than one more than one they all have others in queue that means video is doing very well and there are different categories of videos the one i spoke about here in this video just a few minutes ago was short videos right and then we have videos for e-commerce we have drop shippers thousands of people are jumping into drop shipping they want someone to create video ads for them so video ads for their promotion and stuff like that so videos are doing that is a powerful gig that a lot of people are buying right now and if you jump into it and create any type of video gig at all, you're just going to see a lot of results. And what I've already mentioned is for you to be able to use someone's expertise. We don't know how to edit videos yourself or use AI tools. Now, let's jump into the second gig. Now, for the second gig, it's about website design and not any type of website design, but no code website design. Now, the type of website design that you can quickly put it up in a day or two like using Shopify, using WooCommerce, using WordPress, using um, Webflow and stuff like that, using ClickFunnels, using System.io and stuff like that. Websites are needed by every business, every consultant, every influencer. Websites are needed by all of these people. But when you go on Fiverr, selling websites is very, very competitive, especially with WordPress website. That is where I find myself to be. It's very competitive. So the question is, how do you stand out from the competition? The very simple strategy I teach in my course is to specialize and niche down right now for instance if you go on fiverr right now and you're going to say that hey, i want to sell wordpress website there are thousands of people who are selling wordpress website the only way you can beat them is to pick a small industry like say real estate and build a type of real estate website the advantage is this if you're able to specialize and pick a niche let's say you're selling real estate wordpress websites you're going to have people come to you because you are specialized and you have a lot of um, past clients that will show that you have authority in the field. So if you're starting and you don't have any portfolio at all, it's very simple. You need to do some investment here. And that is building your own portfolio. When I started selling WordPress website, I was selling it for online course creators. And I specialized in using Lendash as a plugin to build online courses for um, online course creators. So what I did when I was starting was I bought three domains for different course names. One was into fitness, one was into real estate, and one was on um, online business. And I created, wrote content for it, and I created the website. Now, mind you, if people are coming to buy something from you, how the website looks will let them know that you have an expertise or you have authority in the field. So I made sure that these three websites were looking very good. Mind you, these three websites were not for any client. They were for me. So I created it as my portfolio and I created my gig. So when people come to me, hey, can you build a, an online course with WordPress, with Lendash and stuff like that for me? I say, yes, I can do it for you. Okay, have you done it for anyone before? I say, yes, I've done it. These are three websites that I've already done, right? Three websites is good enough. If you can do more, do more. So buy the domain, build a website on it, have some hosting ongoing, build a website in. Hosting, you can spend like $20 or $50 to have a hosting for an entire year. Domain is like $5 or $2 or even $10. Three domains, five domains. If you can build a portfolio of five or 10 websites that you have done in a particular niche, let's say just um, real estate or let's say just fitness, five websites, three websites, 10 websites. And when clients come to you, you can show them this portfolio. You are going to pass the guy who has been selling WordPress on Fiverr for so long. A time will come, you have over 50 others in queue that you can't even do it. So you have to bring in people to come and help you. So when you want to beat the competition, you have to niche down, find an industry and niche down, build your portfolio, right? So many people trying to sell services on Fiverr don't have any portfolio to show clients. Build your portfolio, take screenshots of your portfolio and put it on your gig, right? Create a nice video with it and upload it. This will attract people to you. And when they ask you, hey, have you done anything before? Show them your portfolio. They are not going to say, give me the client's number for me to call whether you actually build a website for them or not, right? Either way, if they do that, you can find someone to give uh, their number to so that you call them. But what I'm trying to teach you here is not something that is negative or unethical. It's still good. You built the websites, right? So you're telling them, this is your portfolio. This is your website that you have built. Now, that is if you can build a website yourself. There are so many people who are just confused. They don't know how to build a website. I'm telling them that you should jump into website selling on Fiverr because people are buying it. It's still in demand and it's trending, right? 
what you can do here is to leverage expertise if you watch the first part where i was telling you to sell videos leverage people's expertise so many people have created accounts on fiverr they haven't been able to sell the account they are still new sellers leverage their expertise buy their gigs to help it grow and use their expertise to build your portfolio to sell your service this is what i teach detailed in my coaching program so get people to build a website for you and hand it over to your client number three or as i keep saying ai is here there are so many ai tools that you can use to build wordpress website we have 10 web you can use it to build wordpress website and there's one that i just um currently um got to know i think it's reloom reloom is, is a, a platform ai platform that you can use to build websites without necessarily knowing how to code or how to even have time and click, click things here, right? There is one that I got to know of Lido. I think Lindo or Lido. I'll try and find the link and share it below. It, you can also use that to build landing pages and stuff like that. So AI is here. Look for AI tools that you can use to build websites for clients. And that was number two. Now, the third gig I want you to start selling right now is e-commerce. E-commerce is a big category and there are thousands of people who buy e-commerce services every single day. So many people want to make money, right? And a high percentage of them are looking at drop shipping, using Shopify and WooCommerce to buy products from China and sell it around the world. So many people are into it. Someone that I know sold this gig for several years and became a top seller on Fiverr. He's no longer selling it. I think he's made a lot of money. Right, so you can go ahead and start selling any aspect of e-commerce, right? It could be Shopify, it could be WordPress or WooCommerce. It's, there's a lot of demand for it because a lot of people are coming in for it. But the trick is this. How do you beat the current competition? Now, let me explain this to you. Anyone who comes to Fiverr to buy a dropshipping website or Shopify website is someone who wants to make money online. That is the understanding you have to get. If someone wants to make money online, that means they either don't have a lot of money or they want to make money. They might be in the same position like you. The best thing they might have is maybe they will have access to credit card to take some funds. But in their best scenarios, they have limited cash. They are, live, they are thinking that when they start their Shopify business, they can make more money. And you are thinking that your, your Fiverr account will help you make more money. So you might be on the same level, but they will be coming for your service. So the only way to stand up is for you to understand these people and just speak to exactly what they want, right? It's not just about now, if you want to break the competition, it's not just about saying that I'll build a Shopify or dropshipping Shopify for you. There are thousands of people who are currently selling it. Now, the only way for you to stand out, right, is to be able to understand that this is what the buyer wants and for you to tap into it and sell exactly that. Now, this is what I mean. So many people are buying dropshipping Shopify websites. So many people are selling it too. So for you to break that competition, go ahead and understand what the buyer wants. Someone who comes in to buy a dropshipping website for, um, for his business, it's not just looking at dropshipping. You have to understand the entire customer journey. Why do they need a dropshipping website or a Shopify website? They want to import products. They want to be able to run ads. At the end of the day, what they're looking out for is to make money, right? So that is exactly what you should be selling, right? I will create a gig and sell it in three packages. The first one, I'm going to uh, research products. That would be my basic. My standard one would be research products and upload products onto your website and build your dropshipping website for you. My premium package will be, um, I will help you set up and run your dropshipping website for six months. That is what they are looking out for. Most people don't know anything about Shopify. Most people don't know anything about selling products online. Most people don't know anything about running ads. So if you are just here and you're just focused on building the, web, um, the Shopify website for them, you're not really gonna break through on Fiverr. It will take you so many years for you to break through because thousands of people are already doing it. And if you decide to sell your gigs for $5, $10, People will come and buy, but they will leave you bad reviews because when you're selling at $5 and $10, you're going to get so many orders, you won't be able to perform it on time. And it will affect your ratings. And they won't mind. So far as they pay you $10 and $5, they 
they won't mind. They will leave you bad reviews that you were not able to finish on time. And if you don't do a good work too, they are going to say it and it's going to affect you. So charge good money. Charge $250, $500, $1,000. But make sure that you're solving the exact problem that they want, which is to be able to set up an e-commerce business that helps them make money, not just build a website and leave them. That is what people are doing right now on Fiverr. They are moving away from the real results that clients want, right? And just selling the vehicle that takes them to the destination. But sell the destination. The destination is where they want to be. The destination for e-commerce is to be able to have a dropshipping website that makes money. Or get it running for them. Don't promise it being profitable. But search for the product, build a website, design their logo, write their content, help them set up their ads. If you don't know how to do this, use my, my strategy. Leverage people's expertise. Somebody will set up and manage a Facebook ad for $50 in two weeks. Right? Sell that to a client for $200. And let this person, hey, I'll give you $100. I want you to manage. I'll give you $100. So I want you to manage my client's. Um, Facebook account for um, three weeks, right? And if it's successful, you'll go ahead and renew it. You pay someone $100 or $120 and get a client to pay times three of that. Put all that package together and sell it for $2,500. That means that I'm going to help you research your product, set up your website, write the content, create one video ad for you, create three designs um, for your Facebook ad, set up the Facebook ads and start running it. Don't talk about profits because it might be against uh, five extents, but you can tell them that you, you can't determine how many people are going to buy the product, but you're, help, you're going to help them set up and run the business. So many people want you to do this for them because at the end of the day, they want to make profit. At the end of the day, they have no idea and going to learn Shopify is a lot of work. That's why they want you to build a site. Now you do that one for them. What about running the app? What about the constant social media update that they need? What about responding to comments that comes on the app, right? So e-commerce is a big deal and it's something that is trending right now that you can still be tapping into it instead of trying to sell data entry and transcription and stuff, uh, services that actually don't bring you the money that you need. Finally, I want to give you a bonus gig, which is writing, right? I know AI tools are here and so many people are using AI tools now, so they are not buying a lot of writing services, but here's the trick. Forget about writing articles. Think about writing things that so many people are moving away from. But it's still a headache for businesses, right? For example, technical writing. I bet you don't even know what technical writing is, right? But there are thousands of people who are selling article writing. So if you decide to sell article writing, you're going to meet up with a competition and you're not going to be able to break out. If you decide to sell sales copywriting, email writing, yeah, I can do that easily right now, right? And there's a lot of competition here on Fiverr. You can't easily outcompete them. My strategy, again, is to niche down, pick a niche, be focused on it, and help them close a lot of clients. Now, one of my students started writing, and I said he should niche down. He niched down into consultant. Now, he's not just writing sales copy and emails for them. He's doing every writing that they need. Even that is a lot of work, and even that is something that another person can easily copy you. So move away from writing the normal stuff. Look into industries that are not common, like manufacturing, B2B, boring industry, boring stuff. Learn it, and that is what will actually help you break through. People are still buying writing services, right? But it depends on you. How well can you strategize? How well can you plan? How well can you package your gig for you to stand out so that you can sell? Now, these are the three gigs that I recommend with a bonus one, which is writing, that I recommend that you tap into it if things are not going well for you on Fiverr. Forget about some fancy, fancy things, right? That are not really selling. These things are selling and they will keep selling. They will keep selling because it's in need, right? The demand is huge. It's trending everywhere. So that's it until I come again with my next video. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. A few people have asked me to do another breakdown of the 2024 Fiverr system and everything. So right after this, I'm gonna do a video on the new system on Fiverr and how to actually leverage it, right? Not to hack it, how to leverage the new system to get a lot of clients to grow your freelance business. So if you would want that video, comment below, subscribe to this channel and wait for that video. You should be ready within the same period. Bye-bye and see you in my next video.